The world has lost control of itself. Honor and self-sacrifice have abandoned people. The taste of sacrificial joy is unknown to today's people, and that's why they're so tortured. For only when you co-participate in the pain of another do miracles happen. If a person doesn't cultivate in himself the spirit of self-sacrifice, then he thinks only of himself and doesn't receive divine grace. The more a person forgets himself, the more God remembers him. Those who die heroically don't really die. And where there's no heroism, nothing worthwhile can be expected. Our time is like a bubbling and steaming cauldron. One needs temperament, audacity, courage. Take care not to be caught unprepared if something is to happen. Start getting ready now so that you'll be able to resist difficulties. Christ himself tells us, Therefore be ye also ready, doesn't he? Today, living in such complicated times, we have to not be merely ready, but triply ready, at the minimum. Possibly we may meet not only with sudden death, but with other dangers. So let's drive away the desire to arrange our lives comfortably. May love of honor and the spirit of self-sacrifice live in us. I see that something is in the works, that something lies just around the corner, but it's constantly being put off. Little delays all the time. Who's creating the delays? God? Another month passes, then another couple of months. That's how it all goes. But since we know what awaits us, let's develop love in ourselves, to the degree that we can. That's the main thing, for true brotherly love to exist between us. Kindness, love, that's strength. Guard the secret as well as you can and don't indulge in excessive frankness. If he and I and the bell ringer are all in on the secret, then what will come of that? Death in battle adds greatly to God's mercy, for a person who dies the death of the brave sacrifices himself to defend others. Those who give up their lives out of pure love in order to defend their neighbor are imitating Christ. These people are supreme heroes. They arouse fear in our enemies. Death herself trembles before them because they scorn her due to their great love and attain immortality in this fashion, finding the key to eternity under the gravestone. They enter into eternal blessedness without difficulty. That's why I say to you, Cultivate self-sacrifice, brotherly love. May each of you attain a spiritual condition which will allow you to get out of difficult situations. Without a spiritual condition, a person loses courage because he loves himself. He can renounce Christ, betray him. You must be ready for death. We believe that nothing is in vain, that our sacrifice has meaning. Remove your eye from everything you do. The person who leaves his eye rises above the earth, moves in another atmosphere. As long as he remains inside himself, he cannot become a heavenly being. There is no spiritual life without sacrifice. Try to remember, at least a little bit, that death exists. And since we'll die in any case, let's not take care of ourselves too much. Look after your health but not to the degree when you begin to bow down before your peace and well-being. I'm not asking anyone to throw themselves headlong into dangerous adventures, but you have to have at least a bit of heroism, my brother. Feats are committed not by the tall in size, but by the audacious, the heartfelt, and the self-sacrificing. There's no barbarity in spiritual audacity. Such people don't fire at the enemy but over his head, forcing him to surrender. A kind man prefers being killed to killing. The harmonious person is prepared for accepting divine powers. The mean, the cowardly, and the small of spirit, on the other hand, use impudence to hide their fear. They're afraid of themselves as well as others and shoot without stopping. Courage and audacity are one thing, criminality and malice quite another. In order to succeed at anything, one needs a wild streak, in the positive sense. He who lacks this wild streak can become neither a hero nor a saint. The heart must become uncalculating. 
In our age, audacity has become a rarity. Water, not blood, flows in people's veins. So if a war were to break out, God forbid, many would simply die of fright while others would lose heart because they're used to an easy life. Fear is necessary when it helps a person turn to God. Fear from lack of faith, from lack of trust in God, on the other hand, is ruinous. Such fear is driven out by audacity. We must remember, the more a person fears, the more he is tempted by the enemy. If a person refuses to strive to become courageous and doesn't strive for real love, then when a difficult situation arises, he'll become a laughingstock. The warrior takes joy in the fact that he's dying so that others won't have to. If you dispose yourself this way, then nothing will be frightening. Courage is born from much love, kindness, and self-sacrifice. Today, people don't even want to hear about death. However, the person that does not maintain remembrance of death is living outside of reality. Those who fear death and love life's vanities are in a state of spiritual stagnation. Bold people, who always keep death before them and think about it constantly, on the other hand, conquer vanity and begin to live in eternity in heavenly joy while still here on earth.